I'm going to show you how to give a glucagon injection. Glucagon injection is something that you're going to give when your child has a really bad hypo, so a very low blood glucose level. You're not going to be wanting to give a child something to eat or drink when their blood sugar is very low because that might make them choke. So you give a glucagon injection instead. Now you may feel a little bit unclear about when you might use this and we have a flow chart really clarifying at exactly what point we'd recommend using a glucagon injection on our web page. This is an emergency situation, so we would suggest that if it's possible, someone rings 999 while somebody else gives this injection. And that way you know you've got backup coming to help you should you need it. So this is the glucagon injection box. You can get this from your hospital or repeat prescriptions from your GP. If you look at the box, it says Glucogen Hypokit and there's also an expiry date on the front. To open the box, you slit the seal on the side. This seal is broken because this is a training kit and it opens the box. So in the box, you have a vial containing powder you have a syringe containing water already drawn up for you. There's details about the drug and then underneath there are pictures to remind you how you're going to give that injection. So I'm going to show you how to draw it up. So taking the vial out of the container and putting it on a table. Now the chances are your hands might be shaking a little because this is an emergency situation. If it's on a firm surface it's easier to draw up. There'll be an orange lid on it which tells you that it hasn't been used before and I'm going to flip off that orange lid. Picking up the syringe, the syringe already has water in it so it's ready to go and a needle cover. You need to take the needle cover off. Now a lot of parents say that the needle looks really scary it is quite a big needle, but this is going to be going into the muscle. And just to remind you that your child isn't going to remember this. So try not to worry about the size of the needle. Holding on to the base of the vial so it doesn't slide, I'm going to put the needle through the bung on the vial. I'm going to put all of the water in the vial. And then we need to wait until the powder is dissolved. Now the temptation is to shake the vial vigorously to try and get the powder to dissolve. That actually makes the situation worse. Try not to. You can gently rotate it if you feel that you need to. What you're looking for is you're looking to see that all of the fluid in this vial is clear. It should look like water. Once you can see there's no powder left, it's ready to go. So inverting the syringe, I'm going to draw up all of the fluid from the vial. Once I've got all of the fluid in the vial, I'm going to take the vial off the syringe. And then you can see that all of that is now in the syringe. You don't need to worry about air bubbles for this. There are a lot of people who ask questions about, do I need to get rid of the air bubbles? Don't worry, this isn't going to be given into a vein, it's going to be given into the muscle, so that's absolutely fine. Now there are two doses of this medicine that you can give. You can see on the syringe that there are two markings. For a child over 12 years, they need all of the fluid in the vial. If your child is under 12 years, they only need half. Today for this demonstration, I'm going to pretend we're doing it for a child older than 12, so we're giving the full dose. So the glucagon injection needs to be given in a big muscle, and one of the biggest muscles is in the leg. So if you look at the leg and visually imagine your leg from the hip to the knee in three sections. So one, two, three. The glucagon injection needs to be given in the middle section on the outer edge. So if I was doing an injection on me using this injection device, if I placed it on my leg here, I would be doing the injection here.
I'm going to demonstrate this with this on the table. So taking the glucagon injection, you've already decided whereabouts on the leg you're going to give it. Now the injection needs to be given at a 90 degree angle, so straight down. So it goes all the way in, and then you're going to deliver the full dose, because we're imagining that this is an older child. Once that full dose has been given, take the needle out. And obviously this is an emergency situation, so it's unlikely you're going to have a sharps box. So place it somewhere safe, for instance, in the orange container. Now this injection has a side effect of making children feel really nauseous and can actually make them vomit. So whilst you might be really anxious to try and get them to eat or drink something, it's best to wait 20 or 30 minutes until they feel a little bit better and are able to tolerate that food and drink. You obviously don't want them to be sick again because that will start a vicious circle. And lastly, it may take a little time for this medicine to make your child feel better. So if you place them in the recovery position and keep somebody with them until the ambulance arrives and that way you can keep an eye on them.